What's up, y'all? I'm back with the uh, out of control fro and in this same sweater. Girl, I y'all, it's the headphones ain't making it no better. Listen, I just <laughs> my fro so this is bad. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Like, it's like it. Y'all know what it is. Another reaction video. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me She be like Bunny and Clyde, she even clutching me I feel like it's do or die, she give her soul to me She wanna be close to me Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way She say she gon' run my back, I had a long day She say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way Okay, I'ma just blame it on the headphones Yeah, I don't understand why this is bothering me so bad Like, it's just, it's, look at, look at Got me walking around here looking like a little rascal. Yeah, I'm blaming the headphones. But anyway, that's not the point. I just go, I'm, I'm bummy 90% of the time anyway. So I had to go back to Daily Public Freakouts page because I wasn't really feeling the comedy TikTok page. Eh, no, it wasn't given, sorry. But that's what happened when you do videos and you don't watch them first. But I be wanting to be surprised, so I don't, I don't watch it first. But um, let me, let me talk to y'all. If you ain't joined the Patreon, why? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I know it costs. I do. Girl, you need your eyebrows done. I know, I know. But baby, when I tell you it's worth every penny, because we have fun over there. Okay? Raw, filtered, and uncut, honey. I'm ten times funnier, ten times crazier, ten times rawer. 10 times realer, 10 times more unfiltered, all that, all that. I actually just posted a story time just now. So anyway, make sure you join that. The link is in the description, but we're about to get into, this is Daily Public Freakouts compilation number 118. I believe it's an eight. Yeah, my thing blocking it, but let's see, make sure we're recording. See what kind of fuckery we're going to get into. Okay, let's go. You have to keep it over your mouth and nose. Okay, my, body, okay. my, my doctor really. said do not do that. Or that. We can have you in here. Okay, then that is determination. This is for the safety of all of our employees and customers. Oh, these damn masks. Not the mask. Oh, I thought she was finna put it on, bitch. No, I'm not off the phone. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I know my gonna... way out. All right, I'm just making sure. Because that's gonna get you hurt. Uh oh. So you trying to get into some gangster shit. Here you are. Oh, what yeah. is it with I the bad build? Yeah, the door's oh, right wait, there. Wait, starting some shit. Yeah, I know my way out. Look at these guys. What is this, thrift shop? It's giving thrift shop. Better point. I'll take this one. Uh-uh, see, you threatening yeah, me. I'd have been having a slapper. I lost Good. my job that because day. Uh-uh, you turn around? Here. Okay. I, I just did a story time on this. Y'all better get with it. This is the airport. It's giving the airport. Y'all gonna quit yelling at these motherfucking airport workers? What y'all gonna do? <laughs> like y'all go, y'all gonna stop that shit? Cause you gonna fuck around and not get on this plane, playing with it. And I ain't gonna lie, sometimes they do be rude as hell, but all they yelling and shit, ain't nobody got time. For that. insults ever like they shouldn't be allowed to cuss look it's fall that one let me see you can tell them you got family with yours that's okay so we're not gonna do that so here's your two options what the hell not you the captain that came from the front like Clinton told you to do which I had told him to tell you or you'll be off the flight Okay, tell me now. Which, oh, tell me now which one it is. All right, relax, sir. You just got here. You, can I respond? Oh, she's me where that's posted. Uh, this like, I How would I have known that? I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. Not and Delta has guidelines, and I don't have to. Bitches, you just say I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. 
first of all, ain't nobody even allowed in the cockpit. Second of all, I, I'm i trying to figure out why you ain't in the cockpit. Why are you fucking with the passengers? Like, and it sounds like it's over a hat. Sir, see, I can already tell how this finna go. Like, you definitely a white privileged dominant racist motherfucker. Like, why are you fucking with me? Why are you here? Go back to where you belong and get ready to fly this goddamn plane. The fuck? I ain't never seen. Explain to you. You can take it off or you can leave the airport. It is inappropriate and not going to take vulgar language on the plane. Okay. Verbal or written. Okay. You understand? You understand, bitch. I'm not a you kid. Who you talking to? Yeah, I heard you say. No, no, you understand it. I said I heard you. Cause who, you understand but who are you talking to with that with yeah, that tone? You understand what two options are. I'm not gonna ruin your birthday. See, I'm I ain't got no patience. Don't point your finger at us. Don't point your finger at us. I, I, don't, I don't. Don't point your finger at okay. I don't like that finger pointing shit. How many times I done said that, y'all? I legitimately went to jail for that reason. I legitimately, and I'm gonna do that story time on Patreon. But I legitimately went to jail for a finger. Like the point and shit, no, 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 that's what we not gonna do. I'm gonna break that motherfucker. Quit playing with me. Quit, Cause this is what you not gonna do. Go, go back to the front. So which is it? Tell me now, which is it? Tell you what, the hat is off. It is nothing to tell you. The hat is right here in my lap. Oh, it's say like, fuck all of it. <laughs> it will not be worn the entire place. It's in my lap. I didn't answer that. I see where it is. The hat is in my lap. Tell me. You So do you have six kids or ten kids? Or do you have six that you raised like somebody else's? Like I got questions. You got stepchildren? Like, cause I and it's you could tell from the way that he's talking to her, because he's talking to her like a child. Sir, I am a grown ass woman. You are not gonna talk to me like that. You need to fix that tone, your verbiage, your vernacular. I'm gonna need you to finish fix all that. Fix all that, because I don't like the way you coming at me. I done took the hat off now, going on about your business. I ain't got to promise a goddamn thing to you. The fact that that nigga said 1001, 1002, you know what? I can't take you seriously. I can't. We have an agreement. The hat's in my life. Okay, I can go up, make a phone call, and have a nice day. Sir, go fly the plane. The hat. We ready to go. I need your word. Your word for what? Sir, you playing games. The hat's in my life. You ask me to take it off, I take it off. I, I don't want to have you wear oh, an airplane like and have a problem with but who's gonna put it back on? The hat's in my lap. You would. You don't. What do you know me from? Who gonna put that back on? You didn't give How me you just okay. gonna? I said enough. How you just gonna assume she gonna put the hat back on because she ain't give you her word? What you want me to do? Pinky promise? Like you want me to? You, you want us to shake on it? You want me to pinky promise you? I'm not gonna put the hat back on. If I said I'm not gonna put the fucking hat back on, I'm not gonna put the hat back on. I said what I said. Like, it, it's even if she didn't say she wasn't going to put the hat back on, because this you got to give me your word. Nigga, for what? You see this goddamn hat in my lap. I don't have time for to be playing these games with you. Get your ass back in the cockpit. We ready to go. Fly the plane. What are you doing? See, now I don't even trust you to fly the plane, because you got too much animosity. You fucking with me. So I don't trust your judgment. I don't want you to fly the plane no more. I don't want you to go to the cockpit with that kind of attitude. I don't like I don't like the way you feel it. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust you. To, no, I don't trust you. I uh, uh I want another I want another one. I need another pilot cuz I uh uh not him. 
He ain't finna fly no goddamn plane I'm on. Not with not with that kind of animosity. Not the way he feeling. Cause he might get up there and start thinking about that shit and get mad and fuck around and we all be be dying fucking all kind of shit. I hate to say that. That's kind of fucked up. But I don't like it. No, I don't I don't like your attitude. Find me another you know what? You didn't give me a word. You give to a flight attendant and I'll just go up and have the red coats come down and TSA come down. Not from TSA. Not from what she do? She what? had to have got from TSA with the hat though. What are you talking about? What but is she had it all the night. Tell me you're not gonna wear it in the entire flight. They probably made her take it off, but they still single people. Why did you have the nerve to come in my house and be talking to me when I was with another customer? Because you had the nerve to report your food as never being received, so I can get in trouble and have to pay for it or lose my job. I did not report nothing. If you have a problem, you need to contact DoorDash instead of coming in my job. Well, don't report it as being. Okay, well, like I said, you need to go. So you're saying you got your food? You need to leave me alone. That's what I'm saying. Uh oh. You're, you're saying you got your food? Police. That's fine. And if you're you can talk to me. I'm going to call the police. So please leave That's my fine. job. Oh, just I just oh, need you to say that you got your food. I need you to leave my job. It's a CVS worker for you. We can call the police. We can talk about fraud and all I that. I don't care what we can talk about, lady. You're in my job of business. Leave me alone. So did Period. you get the DoorDash delivered to the to the CVS, like to your job? Who's your manager? I'm a manager. You don't got another boss? No, I don't. Oh, okay. that's a shame. Uh, yeah. CVS is hiring She's not giving too, manager. Huh? And I, I, I can speak on this because I used to work at CVS. She might be the manager, but she... I just want you to admit that you got your food so I don't lose my job. I deliver food to you and then you, you sit there and tell my work I never drop the food off? That's fucked up. Did she get the food? Huh? She had to have got yes. the food. For the, lady, for the lady to be doing all this and she a DoorDash worker, the lady had to have got the food. I can't imagine her not getting the food or not marketing it like she didn't get get the food and the DoorDash lady come back. Like for her to be doing all this, she had to have received the food and then marked it as if she didn't receive it. Because this lady defending the hell out of her DoorDash job. What she said is, you got me fucked up. I got bills to pay. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. Because you going to tell DoorDash I gave you your food. You fucking with my job. So now I'm on your job fucking with you because you done fuck with my job. Like, did you get the food or no? I, I, that's all I want to know. I, somebody I'm really showed me. Her, so hopefully you have cameras because she's trying to say I never dropped her food off. Oh, CVS for sure got cameras. CVS for sure got cameras. They in the back room. They in the little office. I'm just waiting for you to admit that you took your food and I'll oh, leave you alone. Oh, you, damn, you cussing now? Are you making me have the food at work and it's not even that serious? It is that serious. It, it, it's fraud. It's stealing. You stole this and now you're trying tub. to make me I... get in trouble for it. Why don't you get back on DoorDash and tell them you got your food then? It's because you didn't want to pay for the crazy big meal that you purchased? What are you talking about crazy big steak, shrimp, chicken meal? Oh, damn. She you forget about what you just ate? She said big ass order. Like she literally just called out her whole order. See, I got mixed feelings on this one. I do. Like, it's it's fucked up that the lady The lady went in there and it's like, I mean, you playing with her job though. I don't know how DoorDash work, but I'm pretty sure when you mark your food as not received, that shit fuck your money up. Like you don't get paid. That shit make you look bad. So I understand her point. Like, she really trying to defend her job. And I have to, I used to work at CVS. The customer service is garbage. Just for me going in CVS, I know that the customer service is garbage because I have yet to go into CVS where the customer service ain't garbage. But it is a very frustrating job. And this is just me speaking on CVS. It's a very frustrating job. But still, that don't give you the the you act you saying she making you act the fool on your job but you making you act the fool on your job because see i'm the type of person i'm gonna do one or two things i ain't one or two i got two options either we gonna fight 
or I'm going to ignore the shit out of you. Them, not, them the two options. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not going to do it. I will literally ignore you as if you're not there. Now, when you start getting up on me and getting aggressive and shit, then that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother issue. We finna get into some gags and shit. But I will literally ignore you. That or I'm gonna be a sarcastic asshole. Like, I'm gonna be all in your camera like, hey, hi, hello, hi, everybody. <laughs> Record me. Like, I'm gonna do some shit to, like, really piss you off. But for the most part, I probably would've ignored the fuck out of that. Like, you, you not finna get no response out of me. You not finna get no reaction out of me because CVS already tiring as fuck. Again, I know because I used to work there putting the motherfucking stickers on them goddamn products. Them coupon stickers. I used to hate it. And yes, CVS got cameras. The reason I worked at CVS for a very short period of time because that is one of the places I got robbed at gunpoint. Not only did I get robbed at gunpoint, my car got broken into. And we had cameras, but the dude was so covered up, you couldn't really get facial wreck off of it. But he got caught breaking into another CVS or robbing another CVS. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with criminals. Why you go on a spree with the same stuff? Anyway, um, it's a very stressful job. But at the same time, bro, if you marked your food not received and you received it to get a refund, that's fucked up. That's, that's fucked up. Report uh, that. Okay. Record that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to corporate. I just want you to admit that you stole. I just want you to leave me alone. I want you to admit that you stole. She's not gonna well, leave you alone. Well, it's not gonna happen because you're messing up my job now. I don't see the fuck leave me alone. Oh, you don't care that? My word. Because she oh, good. So you mess with my job now. I'm messing with your job. How about that? Sounds pretty easy to you. And they were strict about You lied and said you didn't get your food, so you don't have to pay for it. Oh yeah, she just said. Let you me lied, so you didn't have to pay for your food, and, and now you're trying to get no, me like, in trouble with my job. If, uh, she like bold in the bitch. She got the the ones with the wire. Like, ma'am, you at work. You should be really ashamed of yourself and that you would do something like that. Alone. I'm not ashamed of myself, so it doesn't matter what you. Oh, so no. you just don't care about stealing. So stealing doesn't make you feel ashamed. Wait, wait, wait! Stealing you snitching you on yourself. Ashamed. You better watch your words carefully. You not ashamed of yourself, you totally me, nigga. You might have actually did that feeling shit. Awesome. CVS should really know what kind of employee. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She did that shit. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna even lie, dog, because I know my people. <laughs> like, I know my people. And I, I hate to judge, but I can judge because that's my people. Bro, she, she definitely did that shit, dog. <laughs> Because if she didn't, all she had to say was, I didn't do it, and I received my food. But the fact that you won't admit that you actually received the food on camera, like, you know she recording it. So all you easily got to say is, I didn't report it, I received my food, and that be the end of that. The fact that you going back and forth with her, you guilty than the motherfucker. Because ain't no innocent person going to do all that. And you want her to leave you alone, but you keep acknowledging her. As long as you keep acknowledging her and doing all that cussing and fussing, she gonna keep fucking with you. If you didn't steal the food, then just say, I received the food. But you doing all this back and forward, no, nigga, you fucking definitely reported that shit not received and probably ate that shit in the back and came back to work. That lady done called your whole order out. And from the sound of the order, it sound expensive. If you couldn't pay for it, you shouldn't have ordered the shit. And she bad built as hell. He's a have you probably steal from here too. Okay, I would have a job if I did. So bullshit. You're the one sitting up here talking bullshit. about my job. Bullshit. Bullshit. I got to pause on that one too. It, nigga, it's so motherfucking easy to steal from CVS. It don't make no goddamn sense. Now, when I was working there, I didn't steal, but I could have. I could have. Because when you know where all the cameras at and shit, you know how to you know how to fucking steal. I know how to steal just in general. I ain't never stole from have I ever stole from CVS? Shit, probably at one point in my life. I don't know. But <laughs> I didn't do it while I was working there. But it's easy as fuck. Like when I tell y'all people used to legit fill up baskets with a whole bunch of detergent, diapers, all kind of shit. Cause y'all know how people be like buying in buying in bulk and couponing and reselling the shit. Bro, I done seen people fill up whole baskets and run out of the store with them. And the thing about, I know the location I worked at, like, we didn't chase them. If you gone, my nigga, you gone. I'm not finna chase you. That shit gone. 
PB is still out of, still not a CVS is easy as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm putting y'all up on game. People used to steal out of CVS all the time. Now, I ain't worked for CVS in some years. It's probably been about a good, shit, damn near five, six years, if not longer than that. Because now, most CVS has got security. They literally have security, which pisses me the fuck off. Because why y'all didn't have security when this nigga came here with this gun? But most of them have doubled down on security and got security because people steal from CVS so bad. Like, it's bad. And if I was still for my job, I would have a job. So why are you stealing? Nah, you, you for sure have a job. Because I'm waiting for you to admit that you're stealing. Because you're stealing. Especially if you're a manager. You're trying to take money. No, you are trying to go back and forth with her because you're going back and forth with her. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to send them this video. I'm recording everything. Do you have permission to record me? Don't need permission. Oh, baby. I don't need permission. It's public. You're a public place. place. I already said that. Did not not just tell y'all. on a state law, only one person has to approve of the recording, and that one person can be me. Period. So I'm very aware. I of... just told y'all that. It this permission shit, bro. That don't that don't apply in public. I am in public. I can do what I want in public with my shit. I don't need your permission. I can do it. I'm in public. And I'm doing this just to send it to my job. Like, I literally just did a video on this. It's called Caught on Camera if y'all ain't seen it. But, baby, when you in public, you gonna get recorded whether you like it or not. It's, it's gonna happen. Like, it's gonna happen. Get over it. I know it sucks. You don't like it. But it's gonna happen. Because you're in public. You don't want to be recorded. Stay at home all day. The laws. Well, that's okay, because I'm going to send this to corporate and I let them know. I don't care what you send it to. Good. Out my face. Good. Because yeah, you cussing and shit, they for sure definitely like, nah, man. I'm going to Good. I hope you enjoyed your food. <laughs> hope it filled you up and is energizing you for your shift, even though you didn't pay for it because you wanted to lie and say you never received your food. <laughs> she always nigga. Ah, that shit was funny as fuck, bro. Oh my god, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> she for sure did. She, she didn't have that goddamn <laughs> She didn't. She didn't pay for it, though. She definitely reported that shit not received. I'm sorry. I just know. I just know. Like. I just know, and you did all that back and forth for what? Like, you should have ignored her. If you, you so guilty. <laughs> and the DoorDash worker was so calm. Like, she was throwing so much shade. Like, you the college lady, food on her out. Like, I hope you enjoyed your food. And <laughs> said she stole it. That shit was funny. Anyway, I will, <laughs> I will see y'all in the next video. Until next time, bye. <laughs>